Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16. It has been a great summer of updates. Apple has released seven iOS 16 betas and actually most of them had great new features and changes like the battery on the status bar, of course, the new lock screen and everything else that comes with iOS 16, which are some really, really cool new features. But of course, everything has to come to an end and the updates for iOS 16 have stopped here. So let's get into the video and let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, first of all, before we get started, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I've noticed that most of you guys who watch the videos on my channel are currently not subscribed. So please make sure you do so. It really helps out a lot. I would really appreciate it. And of course, if you want to see more iOS 16 features, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So what we're talking about here is the end of iOS 16, of course, before we move to iOS 16.1. So last beta of iOS 16 is beta 7, and I believe this might be the last beta that Apple releases for iOS 16, even though iOS 16 is two weeks away from being released to the public. So there is a slim chance that we might see another beta this week, but the last beta, beta 7, had a build number ending with an A, which indicates usually most of the time that that's the last beta. So it ends with an A and of course the RC version will be a build number without a letter at the end and that will be released next week. So this week we might see another beta, probably not, but we might even though if we see it, it won't contain any new features or changes just like beta 7 didn't bring anything new, despite of course improvements on performance and battery life. We're gonna talk about that in a second here. So yeah, beta 7 probably the last beta and the features have stopped here. Don't expect to see any new features or changes on iOS 16, which we hoped for, especially wallpapers. I expected Apple to release more new wallpapers because they released one new wallpaper with iOS 16 at the beginning, of course, when they first introduced iOS 16, and then they just didn't add any new wallpapers at all. They added the old school fish wallpaper, and that's about it. No new wallpapers, no dark mode for the wallpapers as well. And of course, no more live wallpapers, and they also have removed perspective zoom. These are some features that I really hope Apple will bring back before the release of iOS 16 to the public, but they didn't and I don't expect them, them to come with a new beta if they do release it or the RC version because the, the creation, the development of iOS 16 has stopped here and we cannot expect any new features at all. But now that we know that it has stopped and we no longer get any new features on iOS 16, of course, we want better performance and battery life because there are a ton of features. Don't get me wrong, there are more like 400 features on iOS 16. But when it comes to performance and battery life, things are looking good as well. So with the last beta, it actually improved a lot. So here I have the Geekbench test from the last two betas. So this is beta 7, the single core score 1610. This is probably the highest score I got here on this device, even with iOS 15 and the other iOS 16 versions. And then we have here beta six, you can see the single core score 1588, while we have the multi-core score at 4,185 with, with iOS 16 beta seven, and we have here 4,116 with beta six, and you can see here, quite a good increase on both of them, the single core score and the multi-core score, which of course make this a great, great update. And moving on to battery life. Now here I have this device, it's an iPhone 12 Pro Max with the battery health at 89%. And you can see the last few days what I got here. So you can see we got five hours, 25 minutes and about 100% battery life a little less than 100%, then we have about the same here, a little over 100%. Just keep in mind that in these days, most of the time I've used cellular data instead of Wi-Fi, so that of course has a quite a big impact on battery life. And here's like a usual day, you can see just a little over 100% of battery life, maybe 105 or 110, and we got seven hours on screen, two hours and 30 minutes off screen. So that's really, really great. 
So that's really, really great. Battery life is looking quite good on iOS 16 and with the latest beta, even performance and battery life look way, way better. And now that Apple is done with iOS 16, of course, they will move to iOS 16.1. Now, I would expect Apple to release iOS 16.1 beta as early as next week. Now, next week, you know, there will be the Apple event. And after the event, you can expect the RC version. But most likely, we can expect also the iOS 16 beta one to the devs that day or maybe a day later. Now, with this new beta, we will probably get the new live activities feature which Apple has talked about at WWDC 2022, and of course, other new features and changes. Now, it's very likely that that will be released alongside the iPad OS, which has been pushed for October. There might be another October event for Apple, and they probably will be released that month. So we're probably about two months away from the release of iOS 16.1 to the public, but the beta will most likely be released within these two weeks. And last but not least, we're talking about the release dates for the public. So next week we have the Apple event, the new iPhone 14 event. It will happen on September 7th. That same day, probably after the event, the event should be around an hour and a half, maybe two hours after the event. You can expect Apple to release the RC version of iOS 16. That's just like the final version that gets released to the public, but it gets released to the devs a week before. And then you can expect Apple to release iOS 16 to the public. Most likely, I'm 90% sure it will happen on September 12th here on Monday because the new iPhones will go on sale actually on September 9th and then will ship on September 16th. So, of course, we need to have iOS 16 before the new iPhones ship. So, you can expect to get iOS 16 on your devices on September 12th. That will be, of course, around 10 a.m. Pacific time. That's the usual day that Apple, the usual date and time that Apple releases software updates. And you can expect the same with iOS 16. Now, this is a great update, of course. With every update, it, when it goes through beta stages, there might be bugs and glitches. But when they get out to the masses, that's when the big bugs get discovered usually. But I'm pretty sure this update will be quite smooth as Apple has done a lot of work. And it has been quite good since the release of beta 1 on iOS 16. So should you update or not to iOS 16 once it gets released on Monday, September 12th? I would maybe wait a day or two before updating, but even if you decide to update, there are ways to downgrade if you don't like it, but it's a great update. I wouldn't see why someone would not actually update to iOS 16. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Make sure to subscribe for more videos on iOS 16. Make sure to leave a like on this one. I'll see you on the next video.